Oops, I wasn't quite ready. Hold on while I finish getting dressed. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another, hey, who's gonna come over to Nancy's and slap that smile off her face? She's just too happy for a Friday. Anyway, Friday for me, it's like a state of mind. It's like no matter how busy I was during the week or even if it was like a lull and it was a slow week or a stressful week or just an easy, relaxed week, something just happens. It's Friday, you just wake up with a smile, it's like, you just can't wait for the weekend to begin, even if you don't have any plans. Isn't that amazing? It's Friday. You're just excited about it. So again, that's why I always got this big smile on my face on Fridays. So anyway, I am so sorry if I scared or offended anyone during the opening. It's all meant to be part of Halloween prankster fun. I actually wore this to the office a few years ago. I know. And I had come in and I, I knew, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just knew that I was going to flash somebody at some time. So again, it was a while ago. So this jacket actually buttoned back then. So I had this on, I had it buttoned. And I, I might've had this hat on. I might've had another hat on. And, um, yeah, so I knew we had a meeting. It was just going to be, you know, the regular sales guys and me and blah, 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 talking about sales and machines and things like that. Yeah, real exciting, right? Well, well, it is when you make money. That's what you do for a living. So anyway, I knew I was going to be in that meeting with the guys, and I just thought, it's going to be fun. I know I'm going to, even if I'm not on the phone, I'm going to be pretending to be talking on the phone when the meeting starts so that I can go in late, open the door, and whoosh, flash everyone. That was my plan. Well, I really was on the phone when the meeting started and little did I know, besides it being a sales meeting, they had done hooked up the Zoom type thing. And so we had one of our top, top vendors there on the wall with the webcam on so everybody could be seen. And I didn't know this was going to happen. So I'm blah, blah, blah. This is going to be fun. So I walk down. I'm ready. I unbutton my coat so I could just flash everyone as soon as I walked in the room. So I opened the door and ta-da! And oh my God. I looked up at the wall at that big TV that we have up there. It's like, I don't even know how big it is. It's like a hundred something inches. It's, it's huge. So, and, and I saw the guys on the other end and my face must have turned beat beat red i mean everyone had a good laugh they know it's me it's just going to be like a little prankster fun it was really fun but yeah i think my fed my face was red for days but anyway that's an old story isn't it i don't know if i told you guys that last year so anyway the hat that i'm wearing this year is one of rick stetson hats and we got he got stetson hats when he decided he was going to be hypnotized to stop smoking one of the many many times that he decided he wanted to quit smoking so he was hypnotized he came out of the hypnotist um thing thingamajig the appointment and went straight out by a gun yeah true story he was going to all of a sudden hadn't ever talked about it before he was going to be a hunter so he wanted we were looking at different puppies and when we went up to maine to get our first Brittany from a Pride and Joy Kennels up in Maine. We were like, what are we gonna name him? What are we gonna name him? And he had just got a Stetson hat, his first Stetson hat to um, to wear. I have no idea why that was part of the, the hypnosis. He got a gun and a Stetson hat. So yeah, so I said, well, let's name him Stetson. And so Sir Stetson kind of stuck. And so through the years, he bought a few different Stetson hats just for fun. Alrighty, so getting into the rest of the outfit so you can kind of see it again. I just put on this old trench coat. I probably got this at Target maybe 20, 20 years ago, I'm going to say. It was after we moved to St. Michael. So, yeah, so it's going to be at least 20 years old. I've got on these Timu uh, earrings right here in silver. The jacket used to, um, you know, used to button. Don't judge. But, yeah, it's old. Well, like me. So anyway, I put the trench coat on because it just kind of, otherwise you just kind of see the white t-shirt at the end and she's wearing a trench coat. So again, this lady that's scantily clad in her trench coat. She's got her black thigh high nylons on or stockings with the lace. 
and yeah, so it's just kind of a fun little thing if you're not expecting it to Foo, flash people. I know, so much fun. Alrighty, so continuing with our Halloween intro, I already went to the Ferrero, my 31 day countdown to Halloween, uh, put out by Ferrero and the proceeds were for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. And how does it always know when I'm going to have dinner with something garlicky and oniony? Maybe it's just a given. But anyway, I got another Tic Tac of orange so anyway, they are kind of tasty. Not really sure if they really help uh, the garlic, but you know what? It's all in fun. So I got this, the dinner that I'm having. And today I made, well, over the weekend, I had made uh, the Rachel Ray's, the Penzella Stoop. And it's really an easy, easy recipe. And I love making it. I do it. I didn't even bother to use my crock pot this time. I just used it, my giant Rachel Ray crock. So it's got like chicken broth in it. It's got crushed tomatoes. It's got like a red onion that was like a softball size onion. I've got a couple of peppers chopped up in here. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic that I smushed and put that in there. Cooked it with a little bit of olive oil and some Italian seasoning, some salt and pepper. And once it was kind of softened and browned and put it, I put just a little bit of balsamic vinegar in there. Just kind of give it a little bit of tartness. And then I thought, you know what? I've got an open bottle of wine and I'm going to be opening up a bottle of wine. So I had that cognac aged uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So I put a little bit of that in there, kind of cooked all the vegetables down. Then I put in like a quart, I think. Yeah, a quart of chicken broth. But I mean, if you were a vegetarian, you could just put in vegetable broth and um, one of those great big cans of the crushed tomatoes and put that in there. And then once kind of brought that all to a boil, then I had bought in a Italian loaf or French loaf bread a couple of weeks ago. I stuck it in the refrigerator to get it nice and stale. And I used about half of that loaf and kind of just kind of ripped it up, put it in thousands of pieces, threw it in there, let it simmer for a couple of hours. That's my dinner. I took it out and she says, you know, it's done when you can stick a spoon in there and it doesn't fall over all the bread. So this is what this looks like. So it's just really, really tasty. And then I melted some mozzarella cheese on top. And then I've got so much left over. What I'm going to do with it is like what I usually do every year is that I take some out. I'm going to put a little bit more chicken broth in there. I've got some frozen mixed vegetables. I had a cheeseburger, some hamburger during the week. So I took out enough just to kind of brown some up. I'm going to throw that in there. And um, with the extra chicken broth, and the frozen vegetables got to make a nice minestrone soup with that and then some more i will just kind of add some sausage and some more hamburger and make a quick kind of spaghetti sauce so this is going to get a couple of uses so i enjoy making like a big bowl of the penzella stew because i can use it gets a lot of different meals out of it all righty so you mentioned i well you didn't mention, I mentioned wine, so let's get into the wine part of this, shall we? So I'm having another Halloween kind of themed wine. I have got Charles Smith Wineries, and it's the Velvet Devil Merlot. And it's a 2020, and it's from Washington State. It is 13.5% alcohol. I've got my little aerator in here. And I've never had this one before, but I just, you know, you see a label like that. You want some Halloween wines? Hello, you got to get it right. So just in case my aerator leaks, we're going to put it in. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. It is a nice purple. But it is very see-through, so it's not thick, 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 or at least it doesn't appear to be. Just going to try to swirl this around in my glass a little bit. Gonna see if I can sniff anything. Hmm. Smells. Hmm. It smells fruity. I smell the cherry. Maybe plum. Maybe some blackberry. Um, I think cedar wood. So it's probably aged in cedar. And I got the sensation that I just kind of walked into that old types tobacco stores that Rick used to love to go in. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Just going to have a quick sip. I hope everyone had a fabulous, fabulous week. I hope you have some great fall plans for the weekend and you're just 
just going to relax, have some fun. Maybe you have to do some yard work and get the leaves up. My neighbor already came over and kind of mulched up all my leaves again. So yeah, he's been really fabulous and he's been back to work too. So it's not around all the week, but he still takes care of me. So that's pretty cool, huh? So anyway, cheers, everyone. Hope everyone is doing fabulous. Mm. You know, it's not as dry as I thought, but for coming out and not having that deep, deep, rich color, it's got a nice velvety, smooth texture. It's really creamy. It's really coating, like all the way in here. You can just feel it kind of coating. Not really dry, but you can sense the tannins in here, you know, from the stems, the grape skins, and of course, with the, from being aged in the cedar barrels. You get a lot of acidity back here from the fruits, and it just kind of kicks off, and you can just kind of, and it feels really warm in here, so that does tell me that 13.5% alcohol. That's real, but it doesn't taste strong. It just, it's really nice and smooth. I'm going to have another quick sip. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a full body. It's going to really nice velvety finish. I think in it, I don't think it was, well, it wasn't that expensive because otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. But anyway, it is a really good Merlot. If you like Merlots, I think you are going to really enjoy this one. And now, I'm going to have a taste of my Penzella. Oh, it's hot. And even though there's all kinds of bread in here, that bread, like half a loaf, all kind of chopped up, I really miss being able to dip a fresh garlic bread in here. So, I may have to do that. Anyway, I can see the onions in here. I can see some peppers. I got cheese and bread. Cheers, everyone. Mm. You know, and it's so weird. I hate tomatoes. Tomatoes freak me out. But spaghetti sauces, love it. Pizza sauce, love it. Fresh tomatoes, nope, not doing it. I have another quick bite. Not to be rude, just because it's good. Mm. That is, it's perfect. I love it. Rachel Ray's Stoop. If you like quick soups, easy to remember the recipe. You can always Google it. I don't know if I can post it because I have copyright, but it's really, really good. Cheers. Mm. That is really good. I might have to check out their winery, see what else they have. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. You guys know it means the world to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope um, you come back and not expecting me to flash you every time. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that kind of girl. But anyway, I hope you take a second, hit that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments are always welcome. Looking for some more soup ideas, things like that, that you can kind of make something and then have it during the week as something else. Those things are fabulous. Any nice wine suggestions that you have? If you've had this Velvet Devil Merlot, let me know what you think about it. Alrighty, so I hope everyone goes out and has a fabulous Friday night. I hope you are having a great dinner plans, whether you're doing takeout or delivery, or you're going out, or again, making a fabulous meal. Maybe it's really nice where you are, and you are out having a nice barbecue out on your patio or your deck, and having friends and family over enjoy it. And again, so just take care. Have a great weekend. Love you guys so much. So take care. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.